All we need to do in the final two games of the season is equal Worthing and Ebbsfleet results. Hopefully we can do that. We do that, we deliver the championship. Hello and welcome to Club One, episode 8 of Half Star to Five Star here on Football Manager 23. My name's Russ Clumps, today we have the final two games of the season where if we can win both or at least equal the results of Worthing and Ebbsfleet, we will declare ourselves champions. If we have a look at the table before we look at the uh, previous games, as you can see we are top of the table with superior goal difference. We are equal points to Worthing and four points clear of Ebbsfleet, so two draws as long as Worthing draw and Ebbsfleet win, we are going to be declaring ourselves as the champions. We win one and Worthing win one. I think we're going to be champions that way. Um, or, or Worthing lose and then we lose the last game. Either way, we just need two wins. That's what I want. Two wins and the title is ours. You guys saw then for the last game, uh, Concord Rangers in Weymouth. We then beat Dover, drew with Farnborough, beat uh, Eastbourne Borough, beat St. Albans. I thought we were going to lose the title here, or the chance to actually win the championship here, um, by losing to Slough. We then beat Hampton and Richmond's 4-0, and haven't in Waterlooville 2-1 to stay where we are in the table at the moment. We do have a few transfers coming in for next season, so Josiah Linton's coming in, Gower, Dibley Diaz and Roberts, they're all joining us. We are trying to find a striker as well. There's going to be a lot of players leaving, but we'll cover that in the next episode. Um, if that's going to be the season review, if not, it'll be the episode after that. So, let's jump straight in to the first game then. It is home to Tunbridge Angels. Second game is going to be away to Dulwich Hamlet. So, the team we're putting out there to get three points and put us on course to win the title is French in goal. It back for Jones, Martinez, Grieger and Aina. Muhu and Rossi in midfield. Fazin made young Akandayani uh, supporting Hewlett up front. Hewlett's now scored 27 goals this season. Picked up a hat-trick in the Hampton and Richmond game. Yeah, it was the Hampton and Richmond game where he got the hat-trick. So yeah, he's, he's doing well playing in that poach role. Fingers crossed he can get a few more goals in this game. First highlight is a throw-in for Tunbridge Angels in their sort of defensive area. They play it forward. It's into our defence though. Martinez is easily going to pick this ball up. Plays it into Muhu. It's a bit slow at the moment. Pace is slow for us. Slow build up into Grieger. Rossi. Plays it over to Aina on that right hand side. Akande and he beat two men. Plays it out to that byland. Cutting it back in into Aina. Aina's cross into the box. It's that Hewler. He's missed him. He's hit one of the defenders. Muhu's got it. Working it around the defender over to Jones who puts it in. Can he find Hewlett? He does. And Hewlett finds the first goal. Two minutes on the clock. We are 1-0 up. Now on 92 points. Putting all the pressure on Worthing. I just want two more goals in this game just to settle any nerves. Put the game beyond Tunbridge Angels. And keeping us in the hunt for the championship. Come on the Bluebells. Worthing have just taken the lead in their game against Taunton. So it is going to go down to the final day of the season at the moment. Coming up to the end of this first half, we've got five minutes of normal time, plus whatever the ref wants to put on. We've only had one shot on target resulting in that goal. Possession is in our favour, although Rusty's got this ball, plays it over to Ain on that right hand side, up into Akandayani. Can he find a cross? Can he find Hewlett? Can he find Fazimade? He goes back into Rusty, puts it into Akandayani. He's hit the byline. Ah, it's been cleared by Tunbridge Angels. We've got two players chasing the ball. In it goes. It's been cleared as far as Muhu. Who? Oh, I thought he scored. Puts it wide. I don't know why Hewlett was chasing after the ball then. It's, it's bizarre. He should have just let Fazime get it. He stayed in the centre. He could have passed it to him. Anyway, the halftime whistle has gone. We are 1 0 up at the moment. We got thrown on the left hand side just after the halftime whistle. Well, the second half whistle goes. Cross goes in, but it's too close to the goalkeeper. Not putting any real pressure on him though. I think it's going to be a big lump forward going by all the players going uh, pushing forward. And it is. Grieger with the header into Muhu. Plays it over to Akandayani. Who hasn't won the ball but he's managed to get a challenge in. Get the ball back. Releases Hewler into the box. Oh, it's just over. He chipped the ball up nicely to set him up for the volley. But he just couldn't keep the shot down. Grieger and Young come off. Coming on for the Martore and Hanks. We have 17 minutes left. Still 1-0 up in this game, keeping it tight, keeping it as it is at the moment. 
Worthing are 2 0 up in their game, so it is definitely going to be going to the final game of the season. Eight minutes left to go. It's an injury for Tunbridge Angels, so we're going to have a little bit of time put on. Martinez with a free kick into Mewhu. Plays it over the top, there's no players there. They've managed to get it clear, it's only as far as Fazin made. He finds a cross into the box, it's been cleared again. Russie's picking up, we're keeping this pressure going. Plays it into Hanks. Hanks over, reverse of the ball, over to Fazin made, who's managed to get it back. In goes the cross to Akinday with the head and it's over again from Akinday and E. I, I think that's every game he plays, he heads over. Four minutes of time added on, we've got a free kick here. Hanks is over, he scored the last free kick in the last episode. Can he find our second goal? He's a bit of a dead ball specialist, this lad. He's taking his time, just wasting those uh, wasting those seconds. In goes the free kick. Oh, and it's just over. Goal kick for Tunbridge Angels. Blasting it forward. Russie's managed to win a header. Trying to find Akindane, but he can't. Here come Tunbridge Angels on that left-hand side. We've got two players running at the moment. We haven't managed to win the ball. He's managed to get three of both of them. Ball's been played back into the defence. Over the top. We need to stay alert here, lads. Aina's got the ball. Plays it into French. French just needs to clear it, and he does. He's at the right end of the pitch now. Hewlett's head's into Hanks. Over to Akinde, and he tries to play it into Hewlett, and he does. Hewlett's crossing the box to Fazimade. Oh, it would have been easier to hit the goalkeeper. What a poor effort. Goal kick now from that resulting um, wide shot. Aina's head's into Hanks. Finds Akinde and E. Hewlett's in the box. If he can stay on side. He's on side at the moment. It goes in. It's been cleared. Big push forward. Torre with a big head. It's been... I don't know if that was Torre's head or it's the Tunbridge Angels player's head. But Martinez has picked up this ball. Plays it forward trying to find Akinde and he doesn't find him. Been gone, he's been pushed back into their defence. Up into the midfield. Trying up on that left-hand side. aina has got this ball. No, he hasn't. French needs to stay alert, needs to save this shot if he can. That's oh, been dragged wide. Lucky break for us there. Just counting down the seconds. Again, Tom Regenge, we've got a counter attack on the go. We've got players back. Big launch forward. Toro's head, nice backwards header, just plays it over to that left hand side. We've got no players marking that player at all then. They come at us on that left. If a cross comes into the box, we had it clear, but Torres managed to dispossess him. Plays it over to French. What a poor pass that was. Luckily, we've managed to get it clear. Mewhu over to Jones on that left-hand side. What was Torre thinking then? Almost cost us the match. Fazin made has been fouled. It's just wasting down the seconds now. Into the last... Well, it's, it's time added on to the time that's added on. Jones with the free kick. He just needs to kick it forward, really, and hope the ref blows the whistle. Plays into Mewhu, back to Jones. Just kick it forward. No, it doesn't need to. Full time whistle. 1 0 to us. We are taking it to the last game of the season. We play Dulwich, the team from last year. Hopefully, they're not going to cause a banana skin for us. Let's have a look at how Worthing got on. They won 2 0 in the end, so it is between us and Worthing. Let's go and do it. Let's go and deliver the championship. Final game of the season then and title decider at Champions Hill. Team we're putting out there to deliver the title is French and goal. A back four, Simpson, Martinez, Grieger and Kelly. Mewhu and Russi in midfield. Santos, Young and Fazimade supporting Hewlett up front. We know that as long as we can equal Worthing's result, we are going to be taking on the title and getting promoted. Russi's played this ball into Grieger at the defence. Pushing it forward, trying to find Hewlett. Hewlett can't win the ball though. Russi can't win the ball either. Here come Dulwich. They're going to ruin our party. It's a shot from range and it has gone over. It sort of troubled French a little bit, but it was never coming down. Worthing have taken the lead in their game against Hemel Hempstead. It was in the first minute, so they go top. We need to find a goal now. We need to find a goal quick. Corner for Dulwich. Can we get a... Oh, this is a good save. Good save and a good clearance from us. I was going to say, can we get a chip in them head on it? We haven't managed to. We have forced it out for another corner, though. Now we need a chip in them head. Just needs to get that ball clear, get a counter attack on the go. In comes the corner. We have dealt with this one. Fazin Mage chased it down. Can we get a counter attack going? No, we, I think he's been fouled there. 
He has. We do have a free kick. I want the player sent off, really. That's not going to be happening. We've got four minutes left in this half. Just get. We need to get the boys in just to give them a little bit more of encouragement. Hopefully, that's going to result in us finding that winning goal. And there we go. Half time, nil nil at Champions Hill. Nerves. I, th I think they're starting to kick in a little bit. But we can do this. I know we can do it. Dulwich with a free kick. A five man wall here. Hopefully, they're going to put it wide or French is going to make a good save. And they've hit the outside of the post. And we need to get this ball clear now. Grieger's got it clear. Fazimade is chasing it down. Got a counter attack on the go here. He's got two men in front of him. Plays it out towards the byline. In goes the cross. It's over to Santos. Santos got loads of space. He puts it forward into Hewlett. Oh, and Hewlett puts it over. Santos should have ran on and had a shot himself. Worthing have gone 2-0 up in their game. The pressure is all on us now. Fazimade has this ball. He's lost it. Can we win it back, though? We can't at the moment. Dulwich playing it into their midfield. We've got men back. They've got two men over. Danny Mills is on the ball. We need to get a block onto this ball. It's gone across. It's a good save from French. Had to be alert to that. And he was. Managed to keep hold of the ball. We're under so much pressure at the moment. Hewlett's come off. Grieger's come off. Triori's come on for him. And Akandei's come on to go up front. Dulwich got a free kick here. They're on the right hand side at the moment. Hopefully they can play it into our defence. We can get ahead onto the ball. We can't at the moment. We're not putting any pressure on the defenders either. We're forcing them back at the moment. Just get a challenge in, boys. Get the ball and get goal words. There it goes over the top. That is a, a chip and a med on the ball. It's only as far as Danny Mills. Simpson's got this ball. He's got three players crowding around him into Santos. Sam, uh, Simpson's ran on. Oh, Santos has lost the ball. Hopefully this isn't going to result in a Dulwich goal. It's not. Martinez has picked up the loose ball. He plays it forward. Trying to find Akinday and he. It's just nowhere near him. Santos has got this ball now though. Into Young. Young with the shot from range and it's just over. We're having the efforts. We're just not getting any end product at the moment. Dulwich got a free kick. Goalkeeper plays it forward. We've heading it forward into Akinday and he. Plays it back to Triore. He's just waiting for options. He plays it forward. Fazin made. It's too close to the goalkeeper. Never going to trouble him with anything that close to him. I mean, Fazimay needs to get back because if this head's going to go forward from us, he's going to be offside. Kelly's head. There's no one on the other side. Fazimay's too far forward. Rusty challenges him. He's going to be sent off now. Oh, it just makes this game even harder. What do we do now? I think we bring Muhu forward. Um, Muhu forward into there and just play like this for the last 20 minutes. Fingers crossed we can find a goal here. Got 17 minutes to do so. We got thrown on the left hand side. Simpson plays it into Muhu. Muhu puts it into the box, but Dulwich have got it clear. And they come on the counter attack. They're flooding men forward. They've rounded one of the defenders, playing it back, and then it goes back into the centre. And Triori's come over to dispossess the player, plays it back into French. Who plays it, well, gives the ball back to Triori. Triori plays it forward. Akinde and he can't win this ball. Oh, it's going to be so disappointing, isn't it? It's Dulwich. Dulwich come at us. They've worked it into the box. Martinez straight over wins that ball. But French needs to get back into position now. Oh, no. Dulwich take the lead with seven minutes to go. Of all the teams to stop us from winning the league, it has to be Dulwich, didn't it? Had to be them. Two minutes left to go of normal time. Four minutes of time added on. Why, oh, why did it have to be Dulwich that stopped us from winning this title? It looks like Worthing have been pegged back as well. And there, Dulwich beat us. We aren't the champions. We are finishing second. That's all we can say to the boys. Oh, last day of the season as well. Let's have a look at the results. 
Yeah, Worthing were pegged back in the last 10 minutes. If we just found one goal and equalised, we would have been the champions. Oh. I'm not disappointed. The boys did well, but it would have been so nice to have just won the league. Let's have a look at the... Um, let's have a look at it extended. Uh, what do we want? We want the league, don't we? Click on this one. League table. There we go. 92 points. 84 goals scored. Plus 43 on the goal difference. But that last day, Dulwich, blooming Hamlet. Who are we going to have in the playoffs then? So... Us and Ebsfleet will go for straight through to the semi-finals. So Dulwich will be playing St Albans. Bath will be playing Haven and Waterlooville. So wouldn't it be great if we could play Dulwich and then knock them out? Or play Bath and then knock them out? But we'll come back for, for the playoffs uh, in the next episode. A heartbreak right at the end of the season. We lose out on the title by one point. But if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey. And as always, thank you very much for watching.